everyone and welcome back I'm Moa aka Swedish Whiskey Girl and today we're celebrating and we're not celebrating with just anything we're celebrating with one of my favorite bottles the Glen Morangy Milchen and the reason because we're celebrating is of course but today the 7th of June marks the two year anniversary of Swedish Whiskey Girl so two years ago I had came home from a lovely little trip to Paris my first time in Paris since I was really little and we had a wonderful time we also came up with this idea it would be quite fun to start something social and something creative and that's kind of how the idea was born and then here we are two years later and this bottle is very very special to me um, it's one that I saw in a few shops and online and thought that it was absolutely stunning and that's why it caught my interest here you can see the box it's actually, the design is inspired by old vintage sweet shops, like candy shops or candy stores. And as you know, I love vintage. And this dress that I'm wearing actually is from a vintage shop on the street where we were living in Paris. So it kind of suits it, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, there you go. So Glen Morangy Milchen is a whiskey that's been maturing on ex-bourbon casks and then it's enjoyed some extra maturation in wine casks as well. And those wine casks were retoasted for the purpose. And of course this is part of the range of the private edition Glen Morangis that are released every year. Last year, 2019, it was the new yeast edition, so it was the Alta, and this is a 2016 edition. And of course I had my eyes on this one for quite a long time, and then... <laughs> When I went to Speyside for the first time, we did unfortunately not have time to go up to the Highlands and see Glenmorangie Distillery, but hopefully I'll get to go one day. Uh, it's a special distillery to me because it's one of my dad's favourites as well. But when we were in Speyside, I of course <laughs> had appendicitis and I usually refer to it as, as that time. I nearly died in Speyside because I ended up in a hospital in the middle of the night. But Something good that came out of it was that when we finally came back to Edinburgh and before I was admitted to the hospital, my lovely, lovely boyfriend, who's the, my favourite person in the world, he actually brought me a bottle of Glamorangie that he bought up in Aberlour in a little whiskey shop because he knew that I kind of had my eyes on this for a long time and he wanted to get me something to cheer me up. So that was this bottle. So I can't dislike it. It's wonderful and I love it. <laughs> but we are gonna of course try it. So first experiment and then retoasted wine cask and it sits at 46% ABV. Let's have a note. Oh, this is oh I love it. It's um it's candy. It's um like a bit like like peach candies and a bit of citrus like lemon sweet and maybe a bit of black currant in there as well. It's like a, an explosion of candy, like gummy candy sweetness. There's actually these sweets in Sweden. I don't know if you have them in the UK, I've not seen them, but they are peaches and then they're covered in sugar. Um, they're like, it's like that. <laughs> it really has this elegant sweetness as well and it's, So good. <laughs> has a lovely oakiness as well. But primarily for me today, it's just peach, a bit of apricot as well. Apricot? Apricot? One of them. It's just, it's, it's, it's weird because it's just that sweetness and that oak influence on the nose. So let's have a little taste. Dungeon at school. It's just so smooth and still get that peach sweet note. But it's alongside this lovely finish that is oaky, but it's not bitter at all. It's very smooth, it's very elegant, it's Maybe a touch of tannins, but it's like the most velvety tannins you've ever felt. You can probably tell I'm a bit biased on this one. But it's, it has a quite a long finish. It just lingers there, this kind of lovely oakiness. But it's a velvety oakiness and it still has those kind of sweet notes. It's almost like, reminds me of the sweetness from a green whiskey. It 
tastes a bit powdery on the nose as well. Like those powdery hard candies that you could get in a vintage sweet shop. It might just be in my brain and I might just be looking for it or be imagining it, but that's definitely what I'm guessing. It's just that sweetness and um, it's like a fruitiness, but it's like a gummy artificial fruitiness. Alongside a little touch of that kind of fresh pear juiciness. It almost has like a soft pineapple juice note. And plums. Pineapple, plums, yumminess. <laughs> it's a slight spice, but it's kind of exotic spice blend. Like a spice blend you would find in like a cake. Maybe this kind of mixture of just a little bit of cinnamon in there. I can't really pick out what else it is. It's just this lovely overall, it's just very smooth and velvety this dram, but full of flavour. Yeah, uh, apricots and peaches and a bit of oak, velvety tannins and yeah, absolutely lovely. But I would of course love to hear what you think of Glenmorangie. Have you tried any of these private edition whiskies, or perhaps you've tried the Milchen before? And if so, let me know what you think on this one. I'd of course love to say a massive, massive thank you to my supporters on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you so much for continuing to support me. And of course, today I would like to raise a toast to perhaps two more years of Swedish Whiskey Girl. And I'm so, so grateful you want to watch this video and continuing to follow me on my whiskey journey. So here's a toast to more whiskey on the way. Spongebob. Go on.